We're with Jean-Francois Pomerol, the CEO of Tribune Health. Jean-Francois, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for inviting me. More than welcome. So digital pathology, what is digital pathology and how is it being deployed? Yeah, so pathology is a, is a medical specialty in charge of uh, doing the diagnosis of diseases and mainly cancer. And when we talk about digital pathology, we say implementing digital technology and AI to replace the microscope and change the way the pathology practice is done. So what's the next big milestone in its development? So today, this digital pathology technology has been adopted by 15% of the market. So the next big thing is uh, going towards full adoption. And we are poised for growth, uh, you know, in, in the coming years, in the near future, we do expect to be above 50% adoption. So I think that's the next milestone, convincing mm -hmm. early adopters. And how do you scale that adoption? Uh, we, uh, we provide a comprehensive solution, including a workflow orchestration, diagnostic viewer, AI capabilities. And this bring increased value, uh, both for the pathology and for the practice in the lab, but also for the patient. So that's, that's the rationale behind adoption. And I think that's how the market is evolving. We, cre we bring value. And uh, for each project, we uh, define the proper value pro proposition so mm -hmm. customer can adopt. And um, what sort of challenges are you finding? I mean, for example, articulating the value proposition, do you ever find that difficult or helping um, partners to understand the value and utility? Or is that aspect quite simple? What, what, what sort of things might slow down the adoption of these mm. technologies? It has been a long journey. We have been talking for di about digital pathology for almost 10 years. Um, but uh, I think there's no question anymore. But mm. You know, the main challenge I would say is probably time because we, uh, when you want to change a medical practice, uh, you have to invest in new technology, you have to uh, rethink about your process, you have to drive change and all of that takes time. So I think that's the main challenge. Mm -hmm. if, if, if I want to add another challenge, I would say uh, the, the role of AI in the clinical diagnostic and how we will be reimbursed or for AI is probably uh, another big challenge that we have today. But I don't see this challenging being a significant barrier. So mm -hmm. the market is ready for adoption. Pathologists are, are asking for that. Mm -hmm. uh, and the value is now far beyond uh, the traditional way of doing the diagnosis. So everything is in place for rapid growth now. Well, that's very interesting to hear. And certainly one of the things that this conference from speaking to so many delegates so far has seemed to be this increasing awareness of the value of AI mm. and articulating that. Digital um, and AI, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And data. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, well, thank you so much for your time today and I look forward to seeing you at the rest of the conference. Thanks. Thank you very much. Mm.